This is a tutorial request. Uh, I was asked how I do camera movement when I animate in Clip Studio Paint, so I'm going to show you how to do that using the program Anime Studio Pro. So I've got my frames here in Clip Studio, and I rendered them all and put them into this folder. So I'm just going to select them all and drag them into Anime Studio, and then it will insert them. And what I do now is I click on this button here. This is where you get a new layer. And I'm going to select Switch. And then I select all of my frames, put them into the Switch layer, set it back to frame 1, and now I can move this around, resize it and move it and all that stuff. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and keep it at the side and now I'm going to put in all the frames so I usually do one frame one image every two frames so I'm just gonna go through and do that depending on how fast the anim I want the animation to be I'll do one image per frame but that's usually a matter of what I feel like looks right, so I'm not going to get too deep into how you should arrange your frames in this video. I might do a timing video of some in another video. I was about to make a lame little pun there and say some other time. <laughs> no. This is the timeline that you're probably going to want to be visible at all times. This one where you can move points around. You can set it to sequencer or motion graph, but I have no idea what those are for, so I just keep it on channels. Okay, I've lined up all my images, and let's see how this looks. Okay, that is a bit slow. I'm going to make a few short modifications here. Okay, that's a lot faster. So this is one image per frame. And that looks good. I'm also going to rearrange where these images are placed. I'm going to have him jump a lot higher than the animation has him jumping. And then move all those movement frames back to the beginning. Yeah, we haven't gotten into camera movement yet, but it won't take long, just a minute. I'm a perfectionist. Something people should probably know about me. Okay, this should look a little bit better. Yeah, that's a much smoother jump. Okay, let's make this background bigger, and we're going to start the camera over here. See, this is the camera tab, and here we can zoom in and out, move the camera, rotate the camera, or even do a 3D perspective sort of thing, which is weird, but it comes in handy sometimes. I'm really just going to be using the pan and zoom tools. So now we have all of our frames and layers and backgrounds and stuff lined up and we can start moving the camera. So that's basically how I want it to move. 
moving along with him even if it's a little bit disorienting it makes it look cool I think I should go a bit back here though Okay, now let's play around with the zoom tool. Let's have it be zoomed in a lot here, zoomed out a lot on this frame, zoom out some more, and then zoom in again. You know what, let's not have it zoom in again, and <laughs> let's zoom it out a little here, because I think anybody watching this would instantly get dizzy. We can move the frames around here if they're farther apart, the movement is much slower, if they're closer together it's much faster. It really makes everything quite easy. I think I'll add a little bit of layer shading here. Um, I think it's this one. And I'm just gonna do green. And Control R is render so that I can see how it looks without rendering the entire thing. I'm going to make this a little bit milder. Okay. That looks good. And I'm going to turn on motion blur, which is to get to this, you double click on the layer, layer settings is this window, and you can go and edit stuff. And I'm going to turn motion blur on. Now let's set how long you want the animation to be. Frame 30. Anyway, I should do a little bit of background movement actually. And that is it, and here is the finished product. Okay, I hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys. There is most likely a much better way of doing camera movement if you're animating with Clip Studio Paint, but if there is, I haven't found it yet. So I'm just going to continue using Anime Studio. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and check out some of the other videos on my channel. I will see you there.